teach you how to crack a bully. First of all, you should do it under supervision, so then if you get hurt, it will hurt badly. So that's why it's better to do it under supervision. So, what you do first is, do make a circle over your head, like this. Circle, circle. Do a circle. Once you get the hang of it, you can, like, do this. Like that. Make it try and curl, curl over it, over the rope. Right? And then once you get the hang of this, you can do it with a little bit more energy. So, and then at the end, it should make a nice big crack. Like this. And it does sound nice, but a bull whip's good for training horses, doing all these things with animals. Um, you can train your horse to be the best or anything, whatever animal you want. That's it. Is that horse good with bull whips? Yeah, you can crack it around him and he won't really be scared. Show me, can I try? So let's see if that horse is good. If he can stay calm around the bull whip. Can you bring the horse to me? Right now the horse is laying down. That horse is very calm with a bull whip. As you can see, he's not really moving. Sam. This horse, if you crack a whip, if you crack a whip around the horse a lot, the horse will get used to the whip. That's true. If you crack, is he good with flags as well? Yeah. No way. He's not even scared. <laughs> Bring him to me! <laughs> okay, see the flag? See, is he scared? Wow! <laughs> but now look, he's rolled in the mud and he's all dirty. Yeah. Bobby, you know I'm still um, doing it. It's pretty good. And look, his brand new hole cut. It's all muddy now. Yeah. You have to wash him when you get home. This horse is very good with flags and whips. That's when good. you crack, when you crack a whip around your horse a lot, and what the kind horse, of horse is that? He's Arabian. He's an Arabian. Yeah. If you crack a whip around the horse a lot, the horse will get used to the whip and he won't be scared. So that's why you should train your horses with a bull whip.